Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving a quick beginner's tutorial on Heptabase. Now by the end of this video you're going to understand all the basic functions of Heptabase and you should be able to begin using Heptabase effectively. So to start with let's go over the journal. The journal can be used just like any other journal would and this can be great for organising tasks and getting things done. So today is the 7th of November so let's just say I wanted to make a to-do list for today. I can simply do that by typing slash and then going down to to-do list and then putting whatever I need to do in here. So let's just say I needed to walk my dog, I could write that. And as you can see here on the left, it shows that there is a task that I need to complete. And if we click on that task, here we can see our to-do list for today, which is walk dog. So if I go out and complete that task, I can simply just tick this box and the task will disappear and it will say congratulations, you've completed all your tasks. Now, when we go back to the journal, as we can see, this is now complete. And we can repeat this process for the future by inputting exactly what we need to do for these select days. Now what's cool about this journal is we can also add it to our whiteboard by clicking this. And from here we can choose whatever whiteboard we want. And then when we view it that will now be added into our whiteboard. So this can be really helpful if you need reminding of something that you're doing in the day. And you can just keep it in your workspace. So next up is the map. This is where we can actually start creating our whiteboards and visualizing our ideas and notes. So here's an example of how it works. This is the getting started whiteboard and you can double click it to open it. So here's an example of the structure. To start with, they just say a bit about Heptabase and they talk about the core concepts that will be mentioned, such as card, whiteboard and tag. So what you could do from here is you can move over and you can learn all about the card and then you can go down here to learn about the card's operations. Now, if we head back up to card, we can go into lesson two about whiteboard and just like last time, we can go down and learn about the whiteboard basic operations. So you can basically replicate this structure for your notes. And this makes it a really good way to organize your notes because it gives you a visual way to see your ideas. Let's just say we wanted to make this about our favorite books. We could have this titled favorite books. And then from this one here, we could have an overview about the book. So from there, we can have it go into different directions and we can break down all these different ideas. So let's just say the book was about three main topics we could then go off into each one of those topics and then break it down even more into smaller, more manageable topics, which gives you a lot deeper understanding of whatever you are trying to learn. So if we wanted to add some of these cards for our own whiteboard, what we have to do is go up to this top right corner where this card library is and we can click on it to open all the cards. Now here they give us cards that they've already created and I'm assuming most of you will need a brand new card. So what we could do is just drag this card here and then we can zoom in and we can also change the size of this to whatever size we need. And then from here, we can type out whatever we want. And then when we're ready to connect it to a different card, we can click this arrow here and simply drag it exactly where you want it to connect. And as you can see, we've now got an arrow connecting into this card. Now, if we head over to the card library, here we can see all the cards as we just saw. And here we can filter through them as well. So so if we were looking for a certain type of card, we can filter them using these settings and we can also type it out. So if we needed the tag one, we could just type tag and here it shows all the ones with the word tag in. And then finally, the tag section. Now here's a good example of how this works. Here you can see Heptabase have already made a Heptabase tutorial tag. And what's cool about this is we can click on that tag and then here are all the sections with the hashtag Heptabase tutorial tag in it. So you can copy this style for something that you're trying to learn. And it helps break down complex ideas into small manageable tasks. Now, if we head over to tag, we could create our own tag by clicking new tag. And we can also create a table or a Kanban. Now, I'm just going to choose table. And from here, I'm just going to type in work and click create. Now, from here, we can click on our work tab. And here we can start filling it out in a way that helps us. So this has been my tutorial on how to use Heptabase. Hopefully, now that you've watched this video, you understand all the basics of Heptabase. And you should now be able to get started in using Heptabase. I hope you also found this video helpful. And if you did, please comment down below to say this video helped you out. And like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.